Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some champions. In this video, we're taking up four six-star champions. So you got four times you can guess who I'm about to take up. All right? Um, so much fun, so much fun. I had planned to do one video per rank up, but these days the resources are coming in and I, I just don't want to uh, make one per video. That's just, it's going to take a while. Uh, now, when I do it this way, though, I usually don't have any gameplay uh, associated with it. So you'll have to wait for other videos to see the gameplay of some of these uh, champions that I'm going to rank up. Uh, but anyway, we're about to reveal the first one in five, four, three, two, one, Guardian. So I had taken Guardian up to rank two a while ago, and he needs to have a high sig. Now, my Guardian doesn't yet have a high sig, but he's still really good. And I started to see him used a lot in the Battlegrounds, the current meta, and he is very effective. A lot of people sleep on Guardian, but with a high sig, try out Guardian, and I think you'll be surprised. He's good on defense for sure, but he's also good on offense. Now, I was told that he needs an armor up for the auto blocking. So uh, bear that in mind, but he gets armor ups. So definitely love Guardian. I don't use him a lot. This particular rank up, I must admit, is mostly for Battlegrounds. And as of this video, I actually have him in my deck. I've also used him and he has gotten me a win. So definitely effective. I will be putting more Sig Stones into him uh, for sure. Uh, worth it. Definitely worth it. I don't have a whole lot of tech champions uh, ranked up. And I am saving up for that infamous Doom in the next uh, feature. And he will definitely, if I can get him, he will definitely go to rank four. Absolutely. Uh, might even go to rank five if I get a tech, you know, uh, rank up gem. All right. So that's Guardian. Now, the next one that we're going to rank up is going to be Doc Bruce Banner, belted by gamma rays, turns into the Hulk. Ain't he unglamorous, wrecking the town with the power of a bull. Ain't no monster who, who is as lovable as ever loving ho, ho, ho. Y'all remember? Well, some of y'all are probably uh, wondering, what in the world am I singing or did I make it up? Uh, but some of you guys that are probably around my age will remember that was the theme song for Hulk way back in the day. I think that must have been in the 70s when uh, that theme song was there. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but it, it's been a long time. But Hulk is my favorite of all Marvel. He is my favorite. I grew up with him, and he has always been my favorite uh, Marvel hero. Uh, I, I identified with him, some of his struggles. He, he has always been my favorite. And in fact, one of the main reasons I started playing this game was because I wanted to play Hulk. Now, early on, I didn't know that Hulk wasn't even available in the crystals. I was pulling crystals hoping to get a Hulk. At the time, it was like a three-star Hulk. And he wasn't in the crystals. But I didn't know it. And I kept wondering, why don't I get Hulk? He's my favorite. That's what I came here for. 
For some reason, they didn't put him in the crystals. And then years later, bam, they just gave us a free three-star uh, Hulk. And I'm like, okay. Now, Hulk had uh, certain animations uh, in common with, uh, I think it was uh, Abomination. And I didn't really like the animations. But he got a, a little rework, and they changed his animations. Much better, much better. However, Hulk still wasn't Hulk to me. He did not seem like Hulk, and I was upset. I was like, why would you make him that way? They even uh, changed him around a little bit later on. And I remember they were giving Hulks a buff. They actually buffed She-Hulk, who wasn't even on the buff list. And they made her more like Hulk than Hulk was in this game. She gets these Furies. And she just keeps getting stronger and stronger, right? And I'm like, well, why wouldn't you do that for Hulk? And finally, the time has come. I have waited seven years, and they are reworking Hulk. And that is why Hulk is going up. I have seen a little bit of the rework. And if they keep him even close to that, he is fun. I'm not saying he's going to be the best champion ever. You know, he's not going to be up there at, like, say, Hercules star, uh, status. But he's fun. He's going to be a lot more fun to play. And so definitely had to take him up to rank three. He looks awesome. His uh, rework is not there right now. But it's coming. It's coming soon. And I'm ready. My Hulk, as you see, is already um, awakened. And now he's ranked three. So cannot wait for that update to go live. But it's going to be a little bit. All right. Now, the next one is going to be Thing. Now, here's something funny about Thing and Hulk. I didn't know this, but I had only watched or read um, one time they fought and Hulk took him out, which I was like, yeah, of course, he's Hulk, right? But I didn't know that they fought more than once and that Hulk didn't always win. I was like, whoa, okay. Um, didn't know Thing had it like that. But Thing is actually really powerful, and I didn't realize that. So, in this game, Thing really needs to be SIG 200 for, for all intents and purposes. Now, I have a five-star Thing. He's SIG 200. I got the six-star. I even duped the six-star. But I wasn't able to get him to SIG 200 yet, but he's getting up there. Um, I believe he's at 140 something right now. So I will be taking him up to SIG 200. He is now rank three. And he will be used in Battlegrounds uh, more often anyway. Now, he actually does have a high risk, high reward style of play if you plan to use him on offense. You can... Um, build up especially if he's sig 200 you build up to like the 15 rock uh, stacks and you actually build up to 20 rock stacks and then let yourself get hit trigger uh your protection and you build up a lot of furies you build up a lot of furies and you can even combine it that's what people often did with like heimdall uh some other cheat death so that you could really get hit real hard, a lot, build up a lot of Furies, and then you go ham. That's a high risk because, of course, you're going to be playing at a low health and you may die. You know, uh, I'm not a fan of that style of play. And when I use a uh, thing, that's not really how I use him. Uh, for me, he's mostly used for defense. And this rank up 
is going to be mainly for battlegrounds it it the meta is going to change and thing seems to be a solid defensive option even across certain meta so definitely worth uh taking up uh to at least rank 3 uh we also were using him in a alliance war on offense uh but we have better options these days all right now finally the last rank up of the video is going to be venom do you guys remember that i had an option in a nexus to take venom or doctor strange and i picked doctor strange now i know some of you who hadn't watched that were like what in the world well at that time i had a venom as a five star I didn't have Doctor Strange as a five or a six star. So I chose Doctor Strange as a six star. Very shortly after that, I got him as a five star. And I had not seen Venom for a very long time. He was mad at me. And then more recently, I actually had a chance to get Venom and make it right. I love Venom. And especially in this current meta, where you want armor break type champions, he is awesome. Heavy attack, armor break. Simple and easy, okay? Um, even the five star is good. And if they can be bled, he does a lot of damage. He's very useful in event quests, in, in just general questing and all of that. And he's pretty cool. We. Oui. Ah, oh, Venom. And I like Venom. I like him a lot. Uh, I used him back in the day for the variants and all that good stuff. And I will probably put him on my team uh, for the current meta, uh, at least until the uh, uh, meta changes. Uh, definitely uh, worth it. Now, uh, I do run the Recoil Masteries, and some of these rank-ups are not necessarily friendly to the recall masteries uh guardian seems to be pretty good with them he has a high resistance and uh when i use him i don't really lose a lot of health so he's he's actually pretty decent um hulk he's immune to poison so i take a little bit and the nice thing about hulk at least currently uh but i believe he, it's going to keep that way when he goes, uh, the lower health he has, the stronger he is. So, sure, let me uh, take that bleed damage, and that's just giving me more strength. Okay? So, Hulk is, is somewhat friendly uh, to the uh, recoil masteries. Thing, he's not, but he is immune to bleed. So, um, I mean, he is not immune to poison but he is immune to bleed so what i will sometimes do uh to avoid the recoil damage is to do a heavy attack to trigger the protection and then fire off my special and he takes no recoil damage as long as you've built him up if he's sig 200 and you built him up to 20 uh rock stacks he will take no damage so i would say he's somewhat friendly to uh your recoil masteries and finally venom I, I don't know what to say about venom uh i don't have a problem playing him with the recoil masteries but i don't know if i would call him um friendly to them but he's not that bad and and you can use him and not kill yourself pretty much okay uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, consider helping support the channel. Hit that like. It does help and it's free. And if you have not given me a subscription yet, give me a subscription. It's also free and it helps. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.